Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and today we are in the kitchen for this DIY Wednesday because we are going to make our very own homemade citronella candles. I know, right? There's nothing we can't do. Why? Because we're perfect and everything we do is money. That's why. I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but I have the sweet honey blood and the mosquitoes love me. It is the time of year where the mosquitoes are full on, full out. The minute even like a hint of the sun starts to go down, the mosquitoes are on me. I want to be on you. Like my legs, mosquito bites everywhere. It's not an attractive look. And you know, this time of year, I love my backyard. I love my backyard so much. You can barely get me out of my backyard. I like to be outside, especially in the evenings. It could get like well over a hundred here, but the evenings are so lovely. So I love to just sit out in my backyard, be on my phone, be on the Nintendo Switch, whatever, just chill out. But then it's like zip, 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 bite, 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 and I can't handle it. You know I have a mosquito problem and they love my sweet honey blood because when we would be in the garage for DIY Wednesday, the mosquitoes were attacking me like crazy people. Oh my God, can you say West Nile? There are so many mosquitoes. There's one on me right now. Oh my God, he ate so much blood that when I smashed him, I got blood on me. That's disgusting. So I ended up having to go out and get two citronella candles for the garage just to try to keep them away from me and cover my body and off. These citronella candles, they were a ton of money from what I remember. I want to say they were 10 bucks each. I feel like maybe they were more. I spent $20 on two citronella candles. It got me thinking this time around when I was like, gosh, I need to get me some citronella Trinella candles. Even at the grocery outlet, they have like cute little, like little pails. Even those were $5.99 and those were little. Then I started looking online and really citronella candles go for anywhere from $5.99 to $9.99. And depending on if you get a cute, like I got one, it's in a cute like ceramic and it has a gold pink flamingo on it and it has this cute little stand. Even at the grocery outlet, I want to say it was 15, 20 bucks. And when I peeled off the grocery outlet price tag, the price tag underneath it said something like $34.99 or something ridiculous like that. And so I was like, there's gotta be a cheaper way. And there it is. And we're doing it in this DIY Wednesday. Maybe a long time ago I've made candles, but I don't really remember it all that well. I mean, how hard could candle making be? Melt some wax, pour it in a jar and you're done, right? So the secret ingredient in citronella candles is actually citronella. You want to make sure that you get citronella essential oil. So, you know, like we have a Whole Foods or a Sprouts. That's where I found this. It's one fluid ounce and it was only $6.99. So the price of this citronella essential oil is the price of one entire citronella candle, basically on the low end of things. From this little one bottle, I have a feeling we're going to make way more than one citronella candle. So what you wanna make sure you do not get is this. Citronella, like tiki torch oil. Don't get this, which in my mind, I was like, can't I use this? Because this entire jug was like $6.99 or $9.99, but no. I mean, just picture that. That is for like oil lamps, or tiki torches. If you put that in your candle wax mixture, could you just imagine your whole entire citronella candle up in flames? Make sure, make sure you get 100% citronella essential oil. I did go to the Dollar Tree and I picked up um, these candles. <laughs> Nothing special about them. Why I picked these is one, they were in a jar already, easier to melt the wax. Two, they were a dollar. Three, they were unscented. I got yellow and white because I didn't like the brightness of this yellow. So I wanted to mix the two and get a paler yellow because in my mind, citronella is a pale yellow. So I have these. I'm going to melt this wax and I'm going to save these wicks. Now I have six of these. So this wax cost me $6 and I have six wicks that I am going to cut in half and end up with, in my heart of hearts, 
I believe I can get 10 to 12 candles. You know how at the bottom of a candle, it has that metal thing that holds the wick? Well, if I cut these wicks in half, I only have six wicks that have the metal thing, and then I have six wicks that are just wicks. So I ran around the house and I grabbed like old gross candles that have the metal thing so that I could reuse this metal thing for the wick when I cut it off. I don't know, were these once tapers? Why did I even have these saved? And then I have these jar candles outside. I know they're disgusting, but there's a metal thing in there somewhere that I'm gonna get out and reuse because I want a total of 12 shorter wicks. So I need six more little metal things. So I'm recycling those. I have just a pot that I'm gonna fill with water. Then I am going to put my six jar candles and these two so I can get that metal thing out in, put on the stove and slowly melt this wax. While we're doing that, I'm going to prep my 12 containers that I'm going to make my citronella candles in. Your pot doesn't need to be like completely filled to the top. You know, I wanna cover maybe about half of my jar candle. I'm guessing, and I feel like I've seen people do this before on the YouTubes. I'm not the first person to ever make a candle out of a candle. And from what I gather, you just melt this wax. I know it's probably not a good idea to melt it in the microwave. What I feel like I've seen is people just get a pot of water, stick these inside, and then put it on the stove. I don't know, medium to low. We'll see, we'll test it. I mean, these don't need much to melt. Let's put this over here on the stove and slowly melt this wax. I'm just gonna turn it on medium. We'll see where that gets us. I do know it's a slow going process, so that's gonna give us time to prep our jars. So, you know me. I keep every jar ever, and this is just a little bit of them. I have the La Victoria jar. I have a red pepper jelly jar. I think this was marinated artichokes. I don't even know what this was. It has no lid. But what I think is gonna be really cute is I have these ooey yogurt jars. I remember taking off the ooey label was kind of a pain in the ass. I did it to a couple of them, but it still feels tacky to me. We just don't leave the labels on. But I think these are a cute size for citronella candles. I figure if we can get 12, how many do I have? Oh, I have 10 ooeys. And that way they're small enough to where I can set all over my backyard, all over the place. So no matter where I walk, there's a citronella candle burning. I think it's gonna be amazing. These labels I remember were a bitch, a real bitch. I remember I was gonna use the jar for something and I started to take off the label and then I was like, damn, this is a pain in the ass. And I stopped after two and then I was like, let's not even use these jars for what I was originally gonna use them for. But they're so darling. And what I love about them is that they didn't have lids to begin with, so they don't have the lid threads. And it looks like it was a candle that I bought, already made. So I don't know, maybe I'll soak these in some hot water, hot soapy water and see what happens while those are melting their little hearts away. Okay, I don't know what blue magic is in an SOS or a Brillo pad, but it is making the sticky stuff on these jars come off like nobody's business. So once you get the actual like blue label off of the jar, you're left with this sticky, filmy residue. You know, everybody says like, acetone or whatever. I didn't want to waste a bunch of my nail polish remover on this. So I thought maybe an SOS pad and sure as shit. I was like, oh, it'll probably scratch the glass, but I just barely scrub it on there. Here's this side, foggy. You can see that foggy haze. I just kind of scrub it and then watch. It's insane. No more foggy haze. That's crazy. So I've already, I'm done and our wax seems to be halfway melting. Let me dry off my hands and we'll check on it. That's hot glass, so let's use our brains. And I have this, I don't know, silicone thing, grabber. I can tell already, ooh, the tall ones are like halfway melty. Because I'm gonna mix these together, I wanna get a container that I don't give a shit about. I was thinking, oh, just get like a glass, like Pyrex um, pitcher situation. I want something that I can just throw away and not care about. So I wanna grab something disposable to pour all my wax into, all my hot melted wax into, and then we'll mix the citronella in there. So let me go find something. I have no idea what that's gonna be yet, but I'll find something. Okay, 
I found this, you can see, I don't give a shit about this. It's a plastic like pot. It was actually for steamed vegetables. It had a lid with some holes in it and then you put water in here and put it in the microwave. I think I lost the lid many moons ago. Then I just started mixing paint in it. So <laughs> this paint is on here for good. It's not coming off. Do I think that this will hold all of that wax? He'll know, but maybe half. I got a skewer because I want to try to push down the harder wax that's at the top. Ooh, that one's going good. Ooh, things are cooking. And I don't want to jack up my wicks. This one, ooh, pot, be careful, be careful. <gasps> that was bad. Oh shit, I'm flipping. Okay, let me just not stand over this. Okay, shoot, one of my little jars fell in. Thankfully, it didn't have a bunch of wax in it because it tipped. Waxy hot water. Oopsie, I don't like this. Um, this one, gross, dirty. I just want the metal piece out of this. That's all I'm looking for. I need like a, oh, a paper cup or something. I need to get my tongs and fish out the other one. I know, I know, I know. Where are my tongs? Why does nobody put anything back where it goes? Maybe I'll use these salad ones. Oh gosh, this one's gonna be tricky, guys. Oh shit, this one's... <laughs> I know you all are thinking, just stop filming and handle it. But no, this is real life. What if this happens to you? Okay, so right now the jar is so full of water that it's really heavy. The tongs are slipping. I need like, oh, maybe a spatula. Lift spatula up. I might be getting wax all over my cute tongs. Oh, and spatula. Ooh, we did it. So. We're already that much melted, and I just need to push that top hard clump and see our wick is there, everything's good. So I'm gonna push the hard top clumps down to the bottom, and then we'll make our citronella concoction. Our wax is completely melted. I had fished out my additional metal pieces from my gross candles, and I wanna fish out the wicks while, I don't wanna work with the wax while it's super boiling hot, I just don't. So I'm gonna fish out the wicks and then we'll prep our jars and then we'll get our citronella mixture going. Be careful, things are hot. I have officially turned off the flame on the stove. Yay, big tap, yay, wick number one. So I'm gonna fish these out and then we'll prep all of our jars. Okay, wicks are fished out and really I'm just gonna cut them directly in half and voila and it's longer than we need and that is perfect. Then with the other half, I'm gonna take the little metal piece that I salvaged, put that one there, boom. Take another one, fold it in half, easy. Maybe we'll get 10, maybe we'll get 12, maybe we'll get eight, we don't know, but we'll have 12 wicks prepped and ready to go. This one seems to have a little bit of wax. It's causing a clog, so I'm just gonna clear that clog out with a toothpick so that I can thread the wick from the bottom through. It's pretty easy actually. Voila, boom. You get it. We're taking wicks, cutting them in half, re-threading them onto a little metal base. Not hard. Okay, I have a bag of toothpicks. I have all of my 10 jars prepped with their wicks, but to make sure that the wicks stay upright, when we pour in the wax, I'm gonna straighten the wick as best as possible, place it in the center, wrap it around a toothpick so it stays straight. That's pretty good. So yeah, perfect, perfect. While I'm doing this, let's go over our citronella recipe. I Googled it because you can find everything on the Google. Well, technically it said one teaspoon of citronella oil per pound of wax. And then it said supplement with a half a teaspoon of another fragrance oil of your choice. Well, I don't wanna put another fragrance oil in here. I want it like potent ass citronella. In my mind, if it's one and a half teaspoons of citronella and another oil, I'm gonna use one and a half solid teaspoons of citronella oil per pound of wax. Those Dollar Tree pillar things said they were seven ounces. I got six. I don't think this is gonna hold all six, this little pot here. So I'm gonna do three at a time. So three times seven is 21. Well, if there are 16 ounces in a pound, I'm not quite a pound and a half of wax, but I'm gonna call it a pound and a half. 
So if it's 1.5 teaspoons of citronella oil per pound, I am going to put in two and a little bit teaspoons of oil. I know, isn't that like the most precise recipe ever on the planet? Maybe I'll add a whole additional. All right, here's what we're gonna do. One and a half plus three quarters of a teaspoon per our three Dollar Tree tapers, which should total 21 ounces of wax, which is just a little over a pound. That's what we're doing. There we go. Now, I feel confident that those have been cooling enough. I'm still gonna grab them with my this, and we're gonna dump three into here. So for our first batch of three candles, I elected to pick two whites and a yellow to mix together. Just be careful. I mean, you're dealing with hot wax and hot glass. I'm gonna pour this one and this one and three. Ah, that one's a little hot. That one was a little too hot. So now I'm gonna take my citronella oil and I'm gonna first measure out one and a half teaspoons and then I will Hello, child safety. And then I will measure out three quarters of a teaspoon. Can I take this stupid dropper thing off? There we go. First, one teaspoon. Now, a half a teaspoon. And now, three quarters of a teaspoon. Part of me wants to just add more because I don't want it to not be enough citronella. So I'm gently gonna stir this around. I feel like I wanna add more. <laughs> Just because I'm gonna do another quarter of a teaspoon, so that makes for 21 ounces of wax, I'm doing two and a half teaspoons of citronella. That's my recipe. Mix that nice and good. All right, now it's time to pour into our jars very carefully. So I'm gonna gently, gently, gently Oh, my wick is moving. Come on, wick. I might have to pour and then like readjust the wicks. I think that's what's gonna happen. As long as the wick doesn't fall in, I think we're good. <gasps> ah, what the hell is happening now? I'm getting wax everywhere. Shit balls. I need to, what is happening? Why are you not pouring good anymore? Maybe I wasn't pouring gently in. Oh shit. Toothpick down. Let me just go really gently. That was much better, Sherry, good job. I'm hoping to at least get five out of this pour. Trying to fill them up to the same level. That's three, good, good, good. That's four and we still have some left. That's five. I can top off this one. Oh my gosh, we got five out, dude. I wanted to get five, yay, okay. Hell yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Let me mix the rest and pour the rest. Okay, so my last batch, two yellows and a white. So I'm banking on the fact that each one of these holds seven ounces of wax. For 21 ounces of wax, we are using two and a half teaspoons of citronella oil. One, two, a half. And there's like a little bit left. There's a silver, there's a silver thing I didn't get out of the jar. Get it fully incorporated. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. These are already like starting to solidify. This is awesome. Gently, gently, gently pour. No spilling. Last two. One thing's for certain, no mosquitoes are coming into the house. It smells like citronella, like whoa. Last one. Just a little extra. Who needs a top off? Oh, you do. Yay. Now we just have to wait for them to cool. We just made 10 citronella candles. Seriously. Okay, our candles are almost all the way solid, so we can go ahead and remove our little toothpicks and trim our wicks to size, and then we'll be good to go. And I even cleaned up the wax off my counter. Boom, easy. It was such an easy job, and the wee labels say that these jars are five ounce jars. Then I Googled five ounce citronella candles, and you're gonna die. From candlemart.com, I found a 5.5 ounce citronella and lemongrass scented half pint jar candle, $6.99. Mm -hmm. Now I know that's 5.5 ounces. Okay, fine. Here from the Home Depot, five ounce citronella candles. They look like they're kind of like in a mug style jar. I mean, it's cute. It has a lid, but three of them for $21. 
at $7 a piece. Yeah, a five ounce centrinella candle. I have not been able to find one for under seven bucks. These ones are cute. They're in a terracotta pot and they have some twine wrapped around them, but I can wrap twine around these and make them look cute too. It's a two pack. Now these are cute, I'm not gonna lie. Those are cute, but two of them are $24.99 and that is a five ounce candle. Again, wrap some twine around this and call it a day, seriously. Point of the story is $7 for a five ounce citronella candle is redunculous when we made a five ounce citronella candle for $1.30. We spent $6.99 on the citronella oil and we spent $6 on the Dollar Tree candles and we recycled our jars. $1.30 compared to $6, let's even call it $5, if we were to go buy one. You've got to be shitting me right now. Now, I'm not quite sure if these are completely, completely solid. They still feel warm, but I really want a light one. And this one's the one that we kind of had a disaster in the pour. This one feels pretty solid. They still feel warm on the outside, so maybe I'll wait a little while. The sun is just now going down, so I'll wait a little while, and then we'll light one, we'll take it outside, and we'll see how well they light. <sighs> Oh, don't mind me. I'm just sitting outside, enjoying the evening as the sun goes down, burning my new citronella candles without mosquitoes. Now, I can't guarantee that there would be mosquitoes out right now if I didn't have these lit, but I'd like to think that they're working beautifully. I can smell the citronella, so if I can smell it, I'm sure the mosquitoes can smell it too. And that's what's keeping them away. They're burning great, actually. I put them in the fridge to solidify them a little faster because I wanted to come outside and try to burn them before it got too dark. Yeah, they're doing gur eight for $1.30. Can't beat it. So yeah, I am super impressed with us today in this DIY Wednesday. These little five ounce citronella candles were super easy, super cheap, and super worth it because we have 10 and I'm putting them all over my backyard. You can bet I am not getting bit by mosquitoes this summer. It was so easy. You guys should totally make this. If you get mosquitoes, I mean, doesn't everybody this time of year, no matter where you live, get mosquitoes? I know I get mosquitoes and it is a must to have citronella candles around, especially since I don't really like using off. What is even in off that makes the mosquitoes stay away from you, number one, and B, I don't like the way it makes my skin feel. It's not like you can just spray off, hang out outside, then get in your bed because you're covered in off. And that's why I like to burn citronella candles outside instead. So yeah, these are great. I'm excited. I'm so glad we made them. $1.30 per candle. You cannot beat that, seriously. We're amazing yet again. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the DIY Wednesday videos I push out, which is every other Wednesday at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out.